Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today we got another top 10 deck for you. This one is another one of Crokey's decks, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun in its usual way. So Bant has made a significant comeback uh, since the changes made to the Companions, and this is a Bant midrange deck. So very, very excited to play this. Um, it was, like I said, prior to the Companion stuff, one of the top decks. Now I'll quickly here go over and show you what we have. Uh, obviously also a rather controlly deck here as well, but just be aware that this deck list also is down below in the description for you. So if you do have questions, uh, as I'm kind of going through this, why this, why that, uh, please feel free to ask there as I try and cover these rather quickly for you. Um, so that's what we have there. We can take a look at this. One of the callouts here that's pretty interesting is there's actually 29 lands. Um, it's a little bit different, a little high uh, on the land end, especially for best of one, but we're going to play this in its form because, again, it is a top 10 deck. Uh, with croquis, so we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Now, quickly, I do want to cover off on the sideboard. Now, one of the benefits here, a lot of questions I always get are, what do you side out? Uh, in this case, I would definitely probably side out some of the land, so there's some room room to go there for you, um, and I think that's probably going to be where I would start, unless you had to do a complete uh, turnover here. Uh, then it's going to depend on what you're playing against. So here we go. Uh, Sold Guide Lantern. So where would I play this? I'd play this against Luris decks. Yes, Luris is still a thing. Absolutely play this against Cycle decks. Uh, Rakdo Sack decks, absolutely as well. Devout Decree. Um, I would absolutely play this against Rakdo Sack decks uh, because not only do you get rid of the creature, you are exiling. Um, you may want to play this against Mono Red as well. So Glass Casket. Uh, all the stuff that I mentioned above, you're also going to want to play this against Cycle. Um, one thing here, Devout Decree, you're probably going to want to play against Mardu Knights as well. Uh, Glass Casket there as well. Dovin's Veto, you're going to want to play against Mirror Matches. Uh, you may want to play this against uh, Yorian decks. Yes, Yorian is still around. Uh, Knight of Autumn, you're going to want to play this against Yorian decks as well. Um, where else would I play this one? Um, destroy target artifact or enchantment, so maybe against Mono Red. Now, uh, this is going to be a good board, a card to sideboard in against Rakdo Sack as well. Um, Shatter the Sky. So, uh, I would play this against the Fast decks, uh, absolutely there. Um, and Dream Trawler, same thing. Uh, here, I would play this against Slower decks, but again, if you need the life gain, we do have some ramp. Um, not a ton, well, we got a decent amount of life gain there. Um, I, I would maybe play that there. I would also maybe play this in uh, uh, Mirror Matches. Uh, once you get them on the board, it's gonna be hard to get off. Not a ton that they can do besides Shatter the Sky. Uh, to remove them, and there's a couple other exile cards too right now that are on uh, in the black stuff. So, all right, there you have it for best of three. Again, if you have questions, please let me know down below. Uh, we are going to hop into it here, play some matches. I generally, again, I'm going to call this competitive play because it is a uh, top 10 deck. Now, one of the things here why I'm not playing standard ranked is because I'm one win away from Mythic. So there will be something out soon on that. So keep an eye out. Also, just want to say, as always, uh, thank you to all the subs. So thank you guys very much for your support. Please, please feel free to sub down over there. I'd love seeing you around um, and stay a while. So, all right, let's hop into it here. Uh, we are on the play. I'm going to keep this, and we will go from there. We don't have the ramp. We can use this. We'll keep that. So red or green, so this helps with that. here I think we do this for now not gonna take the damage so this is gonna help us 
against the devil card. If he plays it, he or she plays it. There we go, Mayhem Devil. So we do have that. What do we have here? I am going to play that. Yes. Not going to go with rural right now. We need the delay. And while it's on the stack, there we go. Unfortunately, we're still missing a uh, planes. So we can go to a little bit here. Bring Nissa on, that's five. We don't have enough. We could play Tamio. That helps us. Ooh, there we go. What's Nissa? Blue, green. <clears throat> I think we do that. What do we keep? I think we keep the white. Go green, green. Green and green. All right. And then we do this one. So we're still okay here. Oh no, he got us. He or she got us now. That's four. Oh, shoot. Too slow on that one. Too, too slow. Not enough life gain. Mayhem Devil did it. All right. Good game. We are not going to sit around and worry about that. All right. On to the next match, and let's see how we do here. Starting off with the loss, unfortunately, for the Bant mid-range, the Rakdos sack. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Here we go. On to match number two. What do we got this time?
Didn't have enough to bring Uru back. That would have saved us. Um, we probably could have dumped a bunch of cards. That might have worked. We'll keep this. Here we go. Against a Yorian deck. Maybe if I would have dumped the Growth Spiral, uh, that would have got us there. I guess I could have paid a little bit more attention on that one. I will keep... I'll keep that. Oh, one of these decks. All right, Esper. Esper, Esper, Esper. Do we want to give him another draw? I will not do that, I think. Draw first. Keep that one. And not going to matter at this point because we can't counter. <laughs> Bring Temple back. The land fights for us. Enough. I am not going to sit this. Here we go. All right, we are. Still in it. There we go. Boom. Easy modo done. Bant mid-range taking down the Esper. So one and one, and we're off to our last match here. Let's make it a healthy two and one with this lovely Bant mid-range deck. Top ten by Crokies. Alright. Who do we have this time? Dun dun dun. The suspense is killing me. Oof. Maybe we'll make it under 20 minutes too. We'll see. Bands usually take a little bit longer deck in terms of deck play, but most of that was the sack guy. Alright, I will keep this. Lots of stuff we can take a look at. We got Teffy, uh, Ro, ah, this one. And they didn't attack with the Ginger Brutes. I might actually keep a second one here for a number of reasons. that one as well what's the it's three 
That's going to be a problem. But we will do it anyway and hope that we can make it. Interesting here. Interesting, interesting. If we can push him back, he'll be at seven. Play an extra land. I think we gotta play Tuffy. So now he can do ginger into that. That's gonna be seven. Went for the higher one. So we could have played gingerbread there and hit Teffy. But we're still still alive. play this so we can do that and we are fortunately done all right good games unfortunately the bant bid range did not work out for us this time and we went one and two oddly so it does not perform as well as we'd like but some good matches probably a little bit better in uh best of three where we could have sideboarded in a couple different options but we did not we didn't pull any of the answers that we needed to as well. So, all right, folks, there we have it. Let's go back and take a look with the top 10 Bant mid-range deck. So, again, this deck list will be available for you down below here. Uh, unfortunately, it was not up to snuff for us today. So, we went one and two. Here is the sideboard for you. Now, what could we have played in the sideboard uh, we could have played this against the sack deck. We could have played this against the sack deck. Uh, we also could have played that against the uh, green deck that we played at the end. Dovin's Vito, we wouldn't have needed to play. Uh, Knight of Autumn. Um, we could have used that to take out uh, artifacts. Share of the Sky would have been good. And Dream Tra Trawler, we could have put in as well for some other late game. Uh, Nissa really is clutch for us in this deck, as we saw. Um, Elspeth conquers death. N not a ton. Um, I mean, a few things we could hit there. Um, but again, it's, it's going to be a tough one, especially in some of these quicker matches. So, all right, Planeswalkers, please let me know if you got questions down below in the comments, deck list below in the description. And love to see you around more. Thank you for the support as always. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you around soon. I hope you enjoy the Bant uh mid-range croquis deck here that's top 10 and may uh it play better for you so take care and we'll see you around soon mithras out